Hey, what's up guys, Matt here. A few months ago, Android announced Android L, which was the sneak peek to the next version of Android. Now we know that this is Android 5.0 Lollipop, and it brings a lot of excellent stuff to the table. So this is my top five features of Android Lollipop. First and foremost is the new design. Google calls this material design, and it is the biggest change that we've seen since Ice Cream Sandwich. Material design aims to make everything feel more cohesive and let you know where things are coming from and where things are going. So if you hit the app drawer, you see where the drawer opens up from, or when you open up an app, you see that it slides in from the bottom. This is all done thanks to animations. Animations are everywhere in Android 5.0, and when you tap on something, it responds and gives you a much more tactile user experience, hence the material. There's also bright colors used everywhere, which goes completely different direction than previous versions of Android. And overall, this new design is finally cohesive and inviting, which is an excellent thing to see. Next up is the new notifications and notification center. The biggest change here is that now there are notifications on the lock screen, which is something I really love about iOS. I like being able to glance at the notifications without having to slide or touch the screen. And now this is also in Android, which is great to see. There's also a new priority mode that allows you to filter out what kind of notifications you want to receive. So you can turn them off altogether indefinitely or for a certain amount of time, or you can say just allow my alarms and phone calls to go through at night so I don't get woken up by emails and texts, and this is a very nice way of handling the many notifications that we get throughout the day. So this is your phone, and it most likely has the most personal data about yourself all over it. But a lot of times you have a friend or family member and they want to use it, and you want to let them, but what if they go through your stuff? Well, in Lollipop, you can now add multiple users. So you can just swap your account real quick, hand over your phone, and that person won't be able to get to anything. Apps, photos, contacts, none of that will be there, so now the snooping eyes really aren't so much of an issue. In previous versions of Android, one small annoyance was the quick settings menu. It was fine, but there were a few too many taps to get to where you want, and there weren't really that many options once you get there. Now, you can access it a lot more easily. All you have to do is keep pulling down on the notification tray and it'll reveal the quick settings. And now you have access to a brightness slider, a rotation lock, a flashlight, you can even cast your screen to your TV through a Chromecast. There's a lot more functionality here, and it's even easier to get to now. The last thing is the overall performance. This is running on a Nexus 5, which is a year old phone and it runs better than any Android phone I've ever used, which is excellent. Everything runs at a constant smooth frame rate and I have yet to see it stutter or lag out. All animations are consistent, everything loads pretty quickly, and there's also a new battery saver mode that should extend your battery for up to 90 minutes. So with Lollipop, it makes an old phone feel like a new one, so I can only imagine what it's gonna feel like with the new Nexus 6. So overall, Android Lollipop is an excellent update. There's finally a uniform design language that actually looks good, and it is a much easier and inviting place to be. It's still not perfect, there's still inconsistencies with third-party apps and such, but with the stock Google experience, everything is just plain better than it used to be. So those are my top five picks in Android Lollipop. Let me know in the comments below which ones you like. This is a big step for Android, and I'm really excited for it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Make sure you hit subscribe to see when my new videos are up. My name is Matt, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.